the town. Holy shit! Okay. Oh fuck, this is pretty awesome. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, I guess we're going to investigate a Russian town on uh, on this lifeless planet. Maybe not so lifeless now. I mean, maybe we can make a gun out of garbage uh, and maybe we could trade with the locals and stuff and see how they live. What are you guys doing over here? Anyone? Oh, there's a little thing here. Hello? What is the point of all this? Whoa. Okay. What, what? Just take home. Oh god, the music is very... it's got like a Russian tint to it. For 15 years I hung in cryo like a bag of forgotten frozen vegetables. Well, when you put it that way... Uh, that's what they said anyway. They played us real good with that story. They spawned another planet suitable for housing human life. Can't believe I fell for it. Oh, okay, I see. I actually have to compliment them on the lack of oxygen. That's a really nice touch. Of course, they probably just tampered with the meters. I bet I could take off my helmet right now. Is that what this is? A test to see how long it would take uh, us to break protocol? Okay, so the gist of it is that now um, our, our fearless hero thinks that he's on Earth and that this is a test, I guess. He actually thinks that he's on Earth in Russia, uh, in some small town in Russia, being tested, and he's about to take off his space helmet. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, I can't open any of these doors, I don't think. Well, at least that one didn't open. Does this? No, that one doesn't open. Can I push these barrels? No. There's going to be some puzzles. Oh, shit, look at this one. It's got a hole in the roof. What happened there? Why, why is there a hole in that roof? And nowhere? Oh, look, there's some more oxygen here. Your oxygen levels are nominal. Oh, fantastic. Oh, look, somebody left their DJ um, set on the bed. Oh, look at this. Holy shit, we can rip some tracks for all of the townspeople now. This is going to be amazing. What? Does anybody know? I don't know. I, if you're Russian right now and you're listening to this and this makes sense to you, I'm, and I'm talking over it, I truly am sorry, but honestly... I, I would have no fucking hope in hell of ever deciphering what this man is saying right now. Uh, there are no words to emphasize my pride as I begin our experiments here on this new world. When they described the green fire to me, it sounded artificial, like something drawn into... Okay, uh, we will power the entire Soviet Union with what we learn here, and I am the one who will lead us to victory. Okay, so we found a document from a Russian uh, who is still really just ripping away in Russian and I cannot escape it. it maybe it's part of the fact that I'm going fucking crazy oh. hey why did it go all zoomed in like that oh listen oh hey listen I can hear some creaking sound is there like an old dead grandma in a rocking chair in there? <laughs> I'm sure there is look I want to look in the windows and see the old skeletal grandma rocking around in her chair in there. I'm sure that that's about to happen in this game. It just seems like the kind of thing that... Oh shit. That's unfortunate. Look at this fucking house. Look at this. It's like half buried under the sand. And so is this one too. What the hell? I wonder if I can just like jump up here on my jetpack and just do some roof down. Oh shit, look at that over there. What is that? Is that a silo? Is that like a farm? We're gonna have to go check that out after. In the meantime, uh, we will continue our door-to-door -door, uh, investigation of this town and see if we can find any more glowing objects on the, the ground. Trackway will lead me to my crew. Oh, I see. Oh, shit, okay. Yeah, there's a track here that I didn't... Oh. Okay, there's a track here now uh, with blood spats all over the place. Yeah, is my crew bleeding out and uh, and heading over here? I feel like I should like uh, investigate the town more. I think I can actually get onto this roof. Can I get onto this roof and... Oh, look, there's an antenna up there. Oh, shit, look at this. Bong, bong, bong. No. Can I push the bong, bong, bong? Can I just, like, uh, get into the chimney? I don't think we can actually go into any of the houses, fortunately. Very unfortunate. Look at that fucking flag. Look at it. Oh, look, I've taken fall damage from too big how a jump. How is this possible? Yeah, how is this possible? What? Why is that flag never relenting from flapping? That's not a realistic flag, uh, in my opinion, and I think that uh, there is definitely something sinister happening here. Possibly the forces of evil have conspired 
to trick me, and I am going to get to the bottom of it. All right, let's follow this trail of uh, footprints and now blood. And look, there's a whole bunch of stones, too, that I can't do shit with, I don't think. Uh, there's a whole bunch of... Uh, is that a grave? Is that a graveyard up there? It looks like a bit of a graveyard. Okay. Uh, there's a note here. Uh, and if it's a man talking in Russian again, I will literally punch myself in the face. Russian? No. Okay. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. I don't need to punch myself in the face. Great. Things I miss. Life has gotten very hard here. I want to go home so much. My brother said I should make a list of things I miss about home. I smile when I think about these things. Hopefully we'll be able to go back very soon. Things I miss from home. Uh, Cheburashka. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that is. Uh, laughter. Whoa. Nobody laughs here? Music. Uh, I found somebody's DJ booth over there. So that's fucking bullshit again. A fresh... Oh, I thought that said fresh bed. Actually says fresh bread. Milk. Mummy. Auto translated from Russian. Okay. Babushka's samovar. I don't know who Babushka is. I don't know what a samovar is, but uh, it to me sounds pretty fantastic. Uh, the trail of footprints of blood leads to that tall building, uh, which I'm guessing is like some sort of human processing plant where they kill people and turn them into sand and then distribute it out here. I found a grave. Uh, look at this. It's like a really crampy little graveyard. Look at some of these ones are surrounded by like a little white fence. Uh, they managed to find some wood somehow I guess and uh, they also made those electricity poles there what is this thing here what could it be these graves they're shallow makeshift and makeshift like they were in a hurry to bury the bodies oh no okay um, and this is my previous uh, log entry so I'm I'm slowly forming a log um, and, and by that I mean actually writing things down and not I'm actually about to shit my pants although I mean, this is pretty scary so far, and uh, there is definitely, um, possibly, some pants shitting on the horizon. Look at this. It's like some sort of like little bunker here with a red door. A red Soviet door. And uh, some sinister music has started playing as well. Uh, if we can go in here, you can bet your bottom dollar I will not be going in. I'm too scared. Oh, it's locked. Find both parts of the security code. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, um, I mean, is it just gonna be out here? I hope not. We'll go check out that other building, but before we do that... Geronimo! With our cool jetpack. We have a jetpack now. Fantastic. Okay, let's head over here then. We'll head over here to this big building, I guess, and follow the footprints in the blood. Let's see where it takes us. Okay, we're back on track. Um, I found the footprints with the blood. And uh, looks like uh, where maybe there was electricity leading to this place, it's now gone uh, due to the weather, I'm assuming, uh, just over time. Or maybe um, they were attacked. Maybe these people were attacked by those weird slimy things that I found in the river. Oh shit, okay. Um, is this... Oh, okay, I see. It's not a tornado. It seems to be some sort of um, thing is about to kill me. Look at this. It, there's spikes coming out of the ground. Do I need to jump up on top of this house or something? Uh, it is still... Oh, wow, okay. This is pretty scary. Maybe if I just jump up here and watch this sort of unfold. Can he get me on here? Oh, shit, no, okay. He's decided to go away. Uh, is he... Um Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Is he gonna come back? Is he spinning up? Is he? No, okay. <laughs> I gave him the slip. He doesn't understand roofs that are uh, sort of sunken into the uh, into the ground that I stood on. Fantastic. Outsmarted yet again game. Look at this. I'm pretty good at this, aren't I? Uh, footprints. More blood. Uh, somehow the footprints sort of like break up a bit and stuff. And, uh, and the blood uh, seems to be quite dry. And uh, and we made it. Uh, we made it to this big building, and there is a dead astronaut. Well, he might not be dead, but he's certainly just laying there. Uh, and then, look, there's me. <laughs> just looking sort of bewildered and uh, scared. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Um, I hope none of those spike things come out of the ground again. Maybe before I go in, should I just have a look around, like back or something? Is that... 
I mean, I'm trying to think of what I would do in real life here. And actually, looking around back is probably not something that I would do either. I'm pretty sure at this point, uh, when I got up to this big building and looked in and saw an astronaut laying dead on the ground, I would probably burst into tears. Uh, I would also probably lose control of my bowels. Uh, and I would probably run back down towards that town and uh, find a cliff, jump off it and kill myself. Because I cannot handle being scared. And I don't like mysteries either. Uh, so there is that. Alright. Come on then. Uh, it looks like somebody's just been horsing around in here. Throwing like packets of what, cigarettes. Uh, like cartons of cigarettes. Thrown all over the place. And uh, there's some pallets and stuff here. And this building. I'm not even sure what the hell it was for. Or what it uh, even did. Are. are you okay? Oh. He's alive. Oh man. This is messed up. Listen. You're almost out of oxygen. I'm pretty low myself. I'm going to give you everything I can. He's German. I think there may be some air canisters in that town. Okay, you're going to be all right now. Just hang in there, buddy. Why isn't he talking? We'll figure this out together, all right? Oh, oh no, no. See, I told you. I told you. Look, he's been possessed. Or sucked underground. I'm not sure, actually. Okay. Uh, my German friend has been disappeared into a puff of smoke or possibly has been sucked underground by those spikes. Damn it. Uh, okay, first half of code for access to Southern uh, Lab is 331. In keeping with security protocol, this portion of the security code must be kept separate from the other half of the code. That's been auto-translated from Russian. Oh, whoops. Okay. <laughs> close. <laughs> Apparently escape does not close the log, uh, but brings up a big menu. Uh, okay. Uh, it, where's the, uh, the other code won't be in here then. Uh, I guess it will be... Oh, shit. This is fucking sinister as shit. Look at this. This is fucking crazy. I mean, it's really cool, though. Uh, and I kind of like how it's not so open world that you just waste a lot of your time going places that you're not meant to be going. So I think, like, things trigger, uh, parts of the map to unlock or whatever. Because, look, there's, like, that fence there. It won't just let me go wandering off uh, into into the middle of nowhere. However, it looks like there's like some sort of canyon over here that I haven't actually explored yet. Uh, so maybe I can go take a look at that. And, oh shit, okay. I've, my oxygen leak has once again reared its ugly head. And I must head back into town to, uh, to top up my oxygen. Oh shit, look at this. He's fucking passing out. We're, oh no, it's happened again. There's the oxygen tank, just in time. Can we get to it? Slowly. Shit, can we? Did we make it? Okay, we got eight hours left. Alright, have a breather. Uh, and let us uh, try to find the other part of the security code, which I'm thinking is maybe down here. Alright, we're gonna fucking find this. We're gonna fucking find this security code. And see what it's all about. And see if we can find... Uh, some sort of mystery inside that little bunker. Yikes. Hello? That's a long way down. No, yeah, you're very right about that. I don't think we can actually go down there. Uh, but, I, I mean, the inquisitive side of me is wondering if I can maybe just do that! Whee! <laughs> oh, no, okay, I'm dead. Listen to how sinister the music is. I hope I don't have to restart. Okay, no, I don't. Alright, it just puts me back here. I got a flashlight. Does anybody, uh, maybe I need to, like, you know, scare people out of their houses with my flashlight. Come on out, everybody. It's me. It's me. I'm just horsing around out here in your town with my flashlight. Beep, 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 beep. SOS. Can somebody send me some help or something? That'd be great. No. Nobody? Okay. It's, it's okay. I'm used to being all on my own. I like being alone. Uh, anybody? No? Okay. God damn it. Where the fuck is everybody? Come on. I need some help. I need to form a ragtag crew of uh, survivors so that we can, you know, start building. We need to rebuild society on this planet. We need to make babies. Uh, we need to uh, nominate somebody to be the town dentist. Uh, and also, uh, we could do with... Hey, what's this? Oh, shit, look, it's the same sort of stonework that has gone into that bunker over there. Maybe it's part of the complex. Maybe the flash... No. Okay, the flashlight does not seem to do jack shit on it. And actually, after taking that uh, gigantic leap off the cliff, I'm not sure what point I'm at uh, in terms of story and the checkpoint. 
Do I need to do this bit again? Is he here? No. Okay. Good. Alright. The checkpoint then is fine. We're at a good checkpoint, which means that uh, we have to go explore new um, civilizations and uh, find new life and do all that shit that they wanted to do on Star Trek but never got around to it because they were too busy battling Klingons around Uranus.